Hello guys and welcome back. This is Beetle War. And today we are gonna be starting a brand new campaign in Immortal Empires playing Sigma as Kislev. Will. We're gonna be playing as Zarina Katrin controlling the Ice Court. And yes, yeah, uh, with the new Shadow uh, Change update 4.2, there are some new, brand new units for Kislev, like the Kislevite Warriors, uh, Frostworm, and uh, some new legendary heroes as well, like Naria Scalesa and a new legendary, uh, sorry, normal lord choice, the Drufina. So Kislev lot of, got a lot of good stuff, sorry. Kislev got a lot of good, good stuff in the 4.2 update, and yeah. It does certainly make the campaign a little bit more interesting as compared to before. But anyway, today we are going to be playing as Arena Katrin. You know, they're going to be starting in the city of Kislev, of course. Like, she's the Arena, of course, she's going to be starting there. And also, here is the lore for Kislev, if you do want to read it. Uh, Zarina Katrin. Ascending to the throne and crown in the wake of her father's bloody death fighting against the Hordes of Chaos, Katrin has wasted no time cementing her grip upon Kislev. She is in every way a total totalitarian ruler. She is stern and unflinching and will readily have rivals removed by agents of Crackdown if she cannot win them over with cold reason. The base of Cadrian's power beyond hereditary right is her extraordinary uh, magical prowess. She is the greatest ice witch for generations, capable of magical feats more deadly and devastating than any other ice witch in Kislev. So, yeah, so let's just go over our faction effects. Devotion generated 10 from successful frostmaiden hero actions. Okay. Control plus 6, view recruit rank plus 3 frost maidens. Ice core training duration minus 2 per turn. 3 minus 2 turns. Lord effect corruption minus 6 local province. Upkeep minus 50% for ice guard. Miscal's cha base chance minus 50%. And this is our starting army here. With some armored corsairs with great weapons. Armored corsairs, ice guards, corsairs, wing lancers, and snow leopard. The ice queen rules with the frozen fist from a cavalry of Kessler. And let's just quickly go with the difficulty settings. Okay, so we are going to be playing on hard and hard, but I am going to be disabling uh, the end game scenario basically because I actually don't like this stuff. Because sometimes it to actually uh, complete the end game scenario, you have to go to the other side of the map, which is a very freaking hard work to do, honestly. And I do not like that at all. And the difficulties are going to be in normal. Uh, the battle difficulty, yeah. I'm not gonna allow, allow the AI to any get any buffs of any sort, you know? Just, I don't just like that. So anyway, let's just dive right in and start the campaign. So, yeah, it's a... Uh, um, first of all, this campaign is a little bit late because I was... I was facing some issues, you know? Like, my windows got corrupted recently, and I just lost all my save data for my Zinch, Cathay, and Velvetis campaign. Uh, also, my Sadi campaign, which I am not going to be doing, by the way, because it's... I can't, actually. It's, and uh, regarding the other three, I will try to start a brand new campaign and, again, go to the point where we last left off. So, there it might be some discrepancies uh, in, the last, uh, in the last episode and the newer ones. Uh, though, it will take time for me to upload them, because, you know, I've got to start a brand new campaign and play them. So yeah, so for now I am going to be uploading a Kiss Love campaign and I will be like uh, trying to start a new campaign. Just don't know where to start with. Like I was thinking either I go with either Ogres or uh, Lizardmen. Because I really want to do a Lizardmen campaign. But for now yeah, there's going to be a daily upload to the Kiss Love campaign and until I, you know, get those other campaigns up and running. So yeah, that's a little quick update I wanted to share. And let's just read this out. With an ill-defined border, the north of Kislev is barely di distinguishable from Troll Country and the tundra beyond. The threat from Norska in the northwest is constant, for it is a land stalked by all manner of gruesome monsters and savage madmen. Our infertile ground is hard as iron, howling winds are cut like daggers with pure skulls. A network of fjords and mist shrouded inlets read the Norskan coast, and it is here that the northmen tethered the longships with which to terrorize the shores of the known world. Let us continue. All the motherland stands behind me. Yeah. But... Does it? Because uh, it certainly does not. You're lying. Anyway. Let's just read how they play. Battle against the forces of chaos and construct religious buildings to accumulate devotion and invoke the Kislevite gods for powerful summary effects. Okay. Use invocations for the motherland to gain supporters in favor of your faction to receive factional bonuses. 
Train formidable frost maidens and ice witches to die in the ice court, granting them powerful traits uh, before they become recruitable characters. Appoint adamants to govern your provinces and provide bonuses to the territories they receive. And here it is. Engage the enemy. If you now belong to the falling faction, bear some. Oh, enemies get a strike against us, attack first. Okay, yeah, that's the same thing. Time. What one thing I wanted in the update for the Shadows of Chain, like, remove this thing, please. Just remove this. I don't like it at all because this is a hassle. That for in some campaigns, like when I played as Kislev, Kostaltin died. And I still have to complete this to get all these effects, you know? So just remove this. It doesn't help anything. Seriously. So, uh, first of all, let's just see which god we want to invoke. You're gonna grant me the Bidens of Winter. Tor is brought to the bear and Miltek does 5. Dodge. I'm really interested to get Tor actually because we are gonna be needing the extra mill attack because the starting army always has freaking trolls and we need that extra mill attack. Though getting the leadership, yeah, that could actually work out as well. Salia is gonna get me. Hmm. Ursin gives me a most amount of supporters, but Tor is not bad as well because we are gonna be in quite a. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Tor. Oh, let's just invoke him before fighting a battle because we need to. And yeah, let's just attack him. And as I told you guys, there's always gonna be a troll unit here, the Norsekan Ice Trolls. And we have nothing to combat their regeneration. So, this is gonna be quite interesting. Let's just fight the battle. Like, early, st uh, early enemies, as trolls as early enemies, is quite difficult to deal with, but I'll somehow solve it. One thing I I do wanted to them to add in Kislev roster was the armored cost of the spears, because, like, they're in Pro League, just add them already, you know? they. They're already a unit, just add them in the main game roster. This will make the campaign so much easier if you have like a spear unit to hold the line. The new Kislevite Warrior does quite uh, does help quite a bit in the early game because it does hold the line quite well. Uh, as an early game unit, it's quite great. But anyway, this still should add some stuff. I forgot to, yeah, get rid of that guy. Hold up. There is gonna be a setting. There should be, right? Yeah, let's just get you to minimal. Okay, uh, get them here. You guys stay here. My wing lances are gonna be staying here, and the snow leopard. Here. Let's take a look at the army first. Here are our armored Cossars. With axes, and there's our uh, armored Cossars with great weapons. They need to add an armored Cossar by this. Come on. Yeah, come on. Add them already. And there's the Ice Guard. I think there were swords, if I'm not wrong. Yep. There's the normal Cossar unit and the Arena character herself. And there's the Ars Nolapard. Looking majestic. And here is our Bing Lancer cavalry unit. Yeah, let's just start the battle. Okay, come on, I already told you to. Minimal, please. I restarted the whole campaign, that's why, like, uh, there was no save data of my gameplay, so, like, that's why I keep appearing back and forth. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I do want to get to those Marauder horses. Come on. And now, go. They, they have quite a great amount of speed, so they travel quite fast. But again, I do have the Wrath of the Bears, so... That is gonna come in handy quite a bit, and... That's just that unit destroyed. 
I need to give him enough time to actually get out of here before those trolls come back. Get the lot of there. Before those trolls actually come here. I think we did a quite enough damage. Um, I am gonna be needing you to move up here a little bit more. Go there. Kill them. Uh, if you wanna fight, come forward. If you don't, just run away. What is wrong with you guys? First you're coming to me and now you're uh, getting away from me? Seriously. Decide already. Ah, uh, yeah, those Marauder Hunters. Just these trolls are getting in the way. If I attack them... That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm actually getting enough time to you know, hurt, hurt them quite a bit. Oh, damn it. There goes these guys down. You just distract those trolls, don't let them... Yeah, get... Uh, come here, come here. Okay, there goes those guys down. And get the lot there. Yeah, I just took the trolls on a long walk. Seriously. Hold are quite stupid, aren't they? Now, if you can please get out of there and go there, that would be quite nice. Yes. That should do quite a bit of damage. And there goes this guy's dead. Touch. Go, come on, just go away already. I know my shit. Um, yeah, just get over here. I'll tell them I've got focus on them and uh, cause our script focus on the marauders. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yeah, they're doing quite nice. And you guys converge a little bit. Uh, Snow Leopard, go. You haven't seen any action at all. So, Mud will send you there. Oh, you get out there. Who told you that you could stay there, huh? There's a horde of trolls behind you. Get out there. Stupid. Because you sure feel as such. I can lower the speed point a bit. Yeah. And you're just in range. Can I use that? I can. And their speed is slowed down quite a bit. Would you look at that? And there goes those trolls. Simple as that. There really wasn't that much there, honestly. <laughs> he died pretty quickly. Gun units are honestly OP against single character. Single entity units, sorry. They are quite overpowered against single entities. And we took minimal casualties and that's what I wanted, so that's all as well. Those trolls really helped me out by like chasing my wing lancer rather than attacking my uh, infantry line. Now, I might have to retreat a little bit because uh, uh, I don't think I will have enough of an army to actually take the settlement. So I will try, but I can't guarantee that if I can take it over or not. It's kind of a bit sad. If 
I do retreat? Hmm, let me think. I do have a good front line. I'm putting into marches, but again. Thaliac provides. Okay. Devotion. Extra devotion. Yeah, let's take that. I would see them dead. Okay, and capture a spell shield. Okay. This shield is branded with Ward of Arcane Protection. It has had many owners in its storied past. M middle defense plus 5 and full defense plus 5%. Okay. Got it. Uh, we have to capture a Tevo. Yeah, I might just retreat back a little bit here. And get to Kislite Warriors. Okay, first of all, Convalescence and Cold Storage. Let's get Convalescence first. 3% uh, casual replenishment and plus uh, plus 5 growth is not bad. Your Tsarina looks after you. you can get Root Marcher. We don't have any My hero to start with, so. First of all, Keslev and. Tallow Keeper's Guild or Trial Encampment? Tallow Keeper's Guild because it provides me with 30 growth and construction of minus 10 for all buildings, so that's the better one. They both provide me the same growth, but this just provides me with the added bonus of constru construction cost minus 10 for you. That's the better one. And. I do want to get a stole here because we need that extra income. What else I can do, huh? I would like to get a Frost Maiden. And let's get here. Hmm. We do have a, a good amount of uh, control, so I would like to get a vacant land. Yeah, I'm gonna recruit some units and then I'm gonna go to with the with, with Tevo. I'm uh, gonna also try to take over for Jakova and Plesk. Plesk, that's plus, right? Hold up. What is that region? It's not telling me. Why? Anyway. Is the corruption going down? Yep, it's going down. I don't know about how much. We'll see, I guess. I would oh I would also like to make some diplomacy options firstly. Our gods watch over. So now we go to it with Tevo. Do we have a little bit of an army to defend ourselves? So Okay, uh, that is a prayer victory. Uh, which I don't think so far. Which I don't think is a prayer victory actually. Unleash Kislev's If I utilize my units well enough, I can probably win this. Uh the power was taken. The maiden, a young neophyte, the ice court, must now choose the path that best serves her queen. Should she walk in the storm or through the blizzard? Uh, I would like to get Tempest. Crossman and Tempest, quick to temper, but uh, compassionate to the folk, she protects. The Tempest speeder is not to be crossed. Uh, uh, the role of Tempest is actually quite uh, damaging, uh, high damage deal lower, so it's quite great for our army right now. And Again, one more thing I wanted is diplomacy. Give me cause to you kill don't you want you anything to do with me. Yes, there is no need for hostility. I know that Trudge is gonna probably destroy you, so do I? I don't think that's Rack a drag? Nope. Pearson Ling. Tribesmen, whichever wove. Rock skulls. Okay, hold up. Awesomeak. Nope, not gonna make a pact with any of them. Alright. Approach. Lend. Yes. I will listen. What? Right, Clint, you don't want to trade, okay. Come. Ostland about that non-evolution pact. Of the Empire. Now what brings you here? Sure. Yes. They demand so much, anyway. Let's go and fight them off. I think we're in this battle. I do think we can win this. The main problem are gonna be those trolls again. Now we have to take Batavo firstly and then I'm gonna have to rebuild my army a little bit more, you know. Get some more units and then go to Fort Jacoba. Because that's gonna be a freaking siege battle.
Okay, so start deployment. You guys are gonna be up here, the line, holding the line. You guys are gonna be behind them, you know? I do want to get rid of those horses quickly and uh, I'll try to see if I can get at least rid of one of them. See if we can lower down the uh, troops amount of units I have. So I would like to avoid that Marauder Spears because they are going to destroy me. Yeah, there's gonna be fight between the cavalry and Don't attack me, don't attack me right now, don't attack me. One died, huh? Okay, that's fine. You can afford some losses, but not quite a lot. Yeah, you should not have come here actually, but okay, anyway. Trying to get you some control, but I don't know why. Cool though, 90 seconds. Do I waste that? I don't know, I don't want to waste that actually. Scatter them, please scatter them. I might have to actually. Might have to get rid uh, of them. Might have just used it. Quickly die already! Hmm. Damn it. Come forward a little bit more. Okay, one of them is out, one of them is out for the count. Second one. God damn it, spears are getting involved. Get out there. Damn you! If you didn't get involved, I wouldn't have been facing such stuff. Damn, these guys getting involved. Damn, my freaking spears are getting involved. We shouldn't have. You know what? Frick it, I'm just gonna go there. If you wanna come, want to chase me so badly, come on. Come on then. Damn it, they lowered my calf quad. They damaged my quad quite a bit. Damn those spears! And yeah, now you're gonna face the. Yeah, now I'm gonna enjoy it a little bit more. Now what's going on, huh? How do you like that? How do you like them apples, huh? Get over there. Get over there. Use that for now. We can use some of our barrage a little bit more. Use that. Because you guys definitely need that. Need to use it.
Go in there and try to fight them off. Okay, those uh, horses have escaped. You get out of there. Yeah, it might clip some mines too, but damn, we need to damage them. They are not holding this line quite well. I want you to chase them down. We might take some heavy casualties, but we are gonna win this battle, so... Nothing to worry about there. Okay, yeah, we are damaging them. Now they are gone. Damage those guys, those mortars. Focus on them, yep. Nice, nice, nice. Try to focus on them. I have to utilize my calf quite a bit. Okay, we damaged them. Go. Damn, they damaged my units quite a bit. They've damaged my units quite a bit. We get out of there. Damn it, how many times are they gonna return, huh? How many times are you gonna return? No, let me just kill those guys. We're gonna be clear. Get out of there and chase them down. Okay, yeah, they're, they're losing. No, no. That's fine. Damn, they took a lot out of me. Did we lose any units? I don't think I did. The semi units are badly damaged, but I didn't lose any, so that's great. Should have reformed my lines a little bit more because putting those skills away at worst, but they held quite strong. They're actually good units for early game. As compared to Corsairs, those are pretty great for like uh, the front line, and Corsairs can you know act as your missile infantry. But Castle White Warriors, I'd say, are worth like having an army in the early game, so. Definitely try to get a half like three to four in the early game and you know rest Corsars or if you want some dervishes I would dervishes I wouldn't suggest because they're not that great. They might they are they might be good against mortal horsemen, but I never you know tried them quite a bit. So I don't know. Though uh cavalry arches are quite great. 
And six devotion. Let me occupy the settlement. The grows. Okay, that's done. So now it comes a time that I have to, you know, get some corsars. The step into spat horn. Taken from an unknown but clearly massive beast, this horn has been handed down from father's father to eldest son to a generation of Kessler's preeminent family of beast hunters. The step into horns found spell. Okay. This is, I think, new. This is definitely new. You need to recover it a little bit here and. Get yourself uh unspring presence and frank jewels. My rule grows absolute. Let's end the turn. Next up is for Jacova. Which is gonna be a big battle for honestly. I do wonder what would be the garrison for Jacova. No. They are one people. Um, I will also get two more of these guys. Uh, not yet accomplished. Ice maidens are attendants of the to the arena. Not yet as accomplished as the more powerful ice witches. It's the, it's the ambition of every maiden to attain the rank, and so they will look for opportunities to improve whether they can. Okay, perfect burger or vanguard deployment. I would go with actually. Venga deployment. Almost always at the forefront and seen uh, until the first final moments, this ice core uh, dance is all, truly a master of concealment. Okay. Again, we're gonna end the turn because recruiting right now can't actually get out the settlement. And corruption is going down substantially quickly. But I do need that extra replenishment right now. Taking Fort Jacoba will not be easy at all. I need a full army to do that and uh, Guardians of the Ice. The Tsarina is uh, served and protected by the formidable warriors, women, warrior women of the Ice Guard. It is for the witches and maidens of the Ice, ice Court uh, of the court to ensure that the bodyguards of the Ice Queen are uh, suitably equipped. Okay. Better swords or better bows? I'm mainly gonna be using them as a uh, missile unit, so I might go with better bows. Uh, the Tsarina's formidable ice guard will be twice as lethal in the field when armed with the latest compound bows. Okay, hold up. I didn't collect that for it. Deny. Do I need a lord? Thinking, do I need one? Because Scratch has taken four horse trust, and I'm gonna be needing to go there quickly. I might need one at Fort Jacob, honestly, if I Lorena is go, gonna go there. Disciplined or aggressive? I guess we're gonna get disciplined. Drugena. Drugena. And I'm not gonna get any units for now. How much do you cost? 230, okay. I need only the best! You have quite a bit of uh, good stuff here. Big Steel Forest, uh, Veneration of the Ice, uh, Veneration of the Bear. So the door, okay. Yeah, I might just use you. Defy chaos. Let them build an army. We are gonna go there once our army is ready. Can't afford to wish there. We need our, our army up and running. <laughs> Because you took a lot of casualties last battle. My question is, how the hell did some Moscas make it so into Kestlevi territory? How the hell did they even get here? One left. Okay, seed of convalescence. Time dedicated purely to rest, but also knowledge of healing herbs and the methods needed to extract the best from them are key to a ca uh, casualty survival. Casualty replenishment rate plus 3 and growth plus 5. Okay. Seed of rebirth. Uh, eating a seed from this small troll skin leather pouch will imbue the consumer with regenerative abilities. Mistress and one heart, one heart from spectrum. Sorry. 
I'm losing majority of my army. Yeah, I don't think so. But they might do some frick ton of damage to me. I would rather they come and fight me in the field. The her heroine. Uh, maidens are operatives of the Tsarina, sent across the motherland and beyond as emissaries. But will often have ulterior agendas that must be carried out in secret. Though all in service to Gadrin. Uh, assassin or on a ship. Assassin wound. Uh, Catherine decrees that a foe should be assassinated, then assassinated they shall be. Issuing the order is the same as plunging in the knife herself. Time to get cold storage. Uh, and. Use this wisely. Yeah, I am probably gonna construct some siege engines. I am most probably gonna be making it a proper siege that can give me two towers here, okay. But that's decided then. Two, okay. They will fall. And yeah, and the turn. If they do come out and fight me, then Victory. I might be able to do fight something. And frost. Oh, there's that's not plus, that's eager of okay, plus because there, okay, got it. So after that, there's eager of we got to take over, then I'm gonna put the Dushin in here and take care of the north. Because the most of the threats are going to be coming in from the north, and we need to take up that place. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to lose, honestly, because... Let's just go. Yeah, let's just go and let's just forget about everything else. Let's just go and fight these guys. I wanted to make it a proper siege, but I guess they are quite impatient to fight me. Well, knowing that their territory is going to be lost, they would want to fight me, I guess. Okay, let's deploy. Firstly, I want to deploy up here actually, because they're going to be coming down from that ridge, correct? Most of them are going to be coming from here, but in case that one of them does decide to come through there, I have to be prepared, you know. Comrades Hold it! Prepare. Why the hell are you not running? You have to reach that place before they come. They're freaking walking! God damn these people. Get over there. He can deal with those guys. Reach before they actually come here. Perfect opportunity to strike, god damn it. Land is power. I'm gonna clean this place quickly. I might lose my snow leopard. Uh yep, might lose my snow leopard. Fucking fight them. What are you doing, actually? Uh, hold line. I'll try to see if they can deal with these guys.
Should not have fed them up here. They're not going very good against these guys. Yeah, yeah, just kill him, kill him, kill him. Gonna die quickly, yep. Go, 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 go. You're ch chasing them down, get over here. I know I can win this shit, but okay. Okay, they're coming again. Shoot them. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. I need you up here. Horses, I need you up there. Damn it. What the hell is wrong with these guys? Damn you, what the hell is wrong with these doggos? Annoying. Freaking annoying, man. These dogs are freaking annoying. Get the hell out of there. And we won. Won, but at a great cost. Yeah, it was a big victory, but we didn't lose anything. That's great. I don't want to lose them, but. Can I? Don't like the great weapons variant of the armored Corsars. I'd rather have the normal variant. Oh, one of the units is down permanently. Wow. Did not know that. If only the doggos could have died. That would have been so much fun. But unfortunately, no. The doggos did not die. If these guys just... Uh, Ran like so so slow. We would have just you know annihilated them. With arrows, like dealt. We could have dealt a great damage with arrows to these guys. But again, my guys just weren't in the mood to run. I don't know why. I just hope if I I do know that if I auto resolve this, I am gonna lose those two units. So if I am gonna be fighting, I'm not gonna utilize those units. Literally, I'm not going to be utilizing them. Oh, can I get replenishment? So I lost that armored cost of the bird. Okay, fine. They will serve the mother. Frost's command. Okay. Time to get Frost's you firing drills. Again, I'm losing these two Kislite warriors, but again, they're just tier zero. When you're not going to be mastering gorge. that much. The motherland grows. And uh, do I want that? Nope. Sarina Hold up. Let me get these two and yeah, some of these guys. Chaos Breaker. Today the blight of chaos and corruption on our land has been washed clean. Regina Enclave. Okay. One motherland. The Kisto stands as one in the eyes of the world. In truth, the motherland is riddled with sedition. An avaricious boyar is laid a shoe to his hand, bribing dozens of adamants to reject your rule. Once your Akshina pays him a midnight call, the adamants abruptly regain the loyalty. Again, devotion. Okay. One land. Firing drills. So that's done. A gift from Kislev's great gods. And let's upgrade Kislev City. We need some growth here ASAP. We need some growth quickly. Let me just take Igorov and then you know we are gonna move north. Fort Jakova is gonna act as my fortress between me and uh, what's his name? Azag. Can't actually afford to lose this place. Uh, no peace treaty with you, Eric. Whatever your name is. Mistress of Ice. March for 
Uh, again, we're gonna okay. get two of these guys. Tushina and the destroyed, like I told you. I know it was not gonna survive anyway. We need Prague. We need Prague. Somehow we need Prague. What are you doing? You are dying, basically. There's a planarian. Uh, okay, here training is complete, so time to get. How much is she gonna cost? I don't think I can afford her for now. I'll just stop for now. Loyalty, bravery, and get and some units steel. yourself. Noble of the Oblast. So I do need some iron. And yeah, I'm gonna get some iron because I need that extra income. Well, I go to Igorov. I don't know if attacking a Thin Karen would be a good, great idea or a bad idea because I don't think they yield that much. As compared to before when, you know, we were playing as Razo and we were just looting the Katyan caravans, just literally <laughs> getting uh, 20,000 gold at the st start of the campaign. <laughs> Easy money, they say. Easy money. My rule oh man, if they didn't fix that, that isn't too broken. What? Okay, what? You serious? You serious? Um, hello, hello? Is everybody here serious or not? Champion of Kislev. Defender of Kislev. I'm gonna stop recording for now because... Chosen Drusina. They're not earning that much. Again, why is that a problem? I'm gonna destroy that building as well. I'm gonna keep the cause of heart for now. I decide. Again, I don't think I'm gonna lose. Seriously, what? The hell is wrong with this game? Well, let's just fight these guys. Ah, uh, Snow Leopard, yeah, you are not gonna be fighting anything. You're just gonna be staying on a side, yeah, literally. Can't let him fight, he's gonna die. Uh, he can chase the uh, retreating units, so that could be a thing. I, I can do that. Okay. So, armored Corsairs. Oh, sorry, you're gonna be group two, you're gonna be group one, and. Literally barrage them with arrows. Not gonna be utilizing them as much as I would have liked, but again, you guys can come here. Well, I get the dervishes. Here and again, no leopard, stay there. I'm gonna take out the dervishes quickly. I'm gonna try to look at their horses. Just even if do if I do lose the dervishes, that's not gonna matter that much. Okay, I still cannot see. Okay, I found them. I found where they are. Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna attack me or not. Are they blind? Are you blind? Literally, and I got close to your horses. That's when you moved. Hmm. I need to somehow get them separated from that army. Go 
We get more of the hunters. Time to kill them. Like, even if they do lose the devs, it's not gonna matter that much to me. Well, that is going on. You guys move forward. If you stay there. Okay, these guys are not going to survive for much longer. Okay, yeah, we are going to be needing to come up here. Not that close. Kill them quickly. Oh, uh, yeah, just quickly kill them. Chase them down. Oh, you get out of there. Get out of there. Get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. You're not going to survive for much longer. Get the hell out of there. I'm uh, going to use that here, actually. They might just retreat. They might. No, they're coming back. Okay. Again, you guys go there. Survive them somehow, please survive them. <sighs> well, uh, we gotta fight this guy somehow. Get the hell out of there! Again, they're gonna be in the range of my missile fire, so that's great. I should've let the armor course take the front line, they could hold this guy, these lords better off. Get the hell out of there. Sons of Kislev, obey the, orthodoxy. the Lord is that great. And they're losing. Nice. Yeah, they're losing. Quite badly, I must say. And we just won. There you go. Told you there's not going to be that much casualties. Didn't even lose. Sorry, didn't even lose a single unit. Well, now that we're done with this, I need to somehow deal with uh, that rat. Throt. And that troll throg. And Argon. Oh my god. There's gonna be so many enemies as Kislev, like Azazel, Archeon, uh, Wolfric, Throt, Throg, and what else? Archeon. There's gonna be a lot of enemies here. We're gonna be facing a lot of enemies. At least the first top is cleared out, and uh, Throt is the next one. After which I might move on to that uh, troll, because he is the biggest threat after Trot and Azazel as well. Let's just occupy that. Sorry. Occupy that and it has a shrine. Okay, I'll keep that shrine. I'll keep that. Okay. And I have the sudden uh, oblast and... Cursing the dead war banner. Appoint an admin. 
Uh, plus five, plus ten growth. You are all gonna go to his left. Failing banner, okay. Do not move from here. Best of the court, get that. A tool to keep chaos at bay. And let's get a uh, vacant land. And there we go. We've taken over the sudden blast. Now, Bort, I'm gonna be coming for you, buddy. He does have a mutant rider. Right God damn it! He has a freaking rider or mutant rider. Right sorry. You're still alive? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, Frostfang. Frostfang was forged during the reign of Miska as the blade has hammered into shape. Ice which has schooled it with the ice magic. In being the blade with magical properties, while the sword has been held in the book of the arsenal for generations, it is said the true power of the blade can only be invoked when used by a Khan Queen. Now that Catherine has ascended to the throne, ready and eager to wield it in battle, it is surely but a master matter of time before the Frost Fang's true power stirs. The Ice Queen has can awaken the blade by dominating her ancestral line, just as the first Khan Queen did long ago. Frost Fang, okay, that's gonna get me quite a bit of good stuff here. And we'll take five thousand. Uh, sorry, treasure for five thousand. Cold storage. In the endless steps, nothing will grow in the grips of winter. No, so preserving food for the long haul is not just practical, well, practical but essential. Casual replenishment rate plus two percent growth plus ten. Okay. And capture many provinces, got it. Hook to axe blades, let's get those. The great orthodoxy provides. Spread our orthodoxy. And yeah, I'm gonna have to go north a little bit. To Port Ostrovsk and then push Drago. But in front of you guys, that's all the time we have for today. If you like the video, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys all next time. Bye-bye and have a great day!